today on The Real. Where are all my singles at? Single this Valentine's Day? Don't you fret, Lonnie's the best wingman ever. See that old man behind? Yeah, that's mine. That ain't yours. Plus, The Real is making a love connection. Okay. They're already planning the wedding. It's Valentine's Day at The Real. plus one mixer. Any single ladies? I feel like Beyonce, all the single ladies. <laughs> Any single guys? Yeah. All right, well that's right, our little lounge right over there is gonna be filled with singles and their single friends that didn't work out for them. How awesome is that? It's pretty much like having a clothing swap, except instead of a sweater that didn't fit you, it's a guy that maybe you just didn't have chemistry with. So we'll be checking in with these lucky singles <laughs> throughout the show to see if there are any real love connections. Won't that be so awesome? Now, you know what happens next. It is time for Girl, Girl Chat! Chat! We're gonna get right into it. <laughs> First up, there's a new app that's gonna revolutionize the way you flee a bad date. My friend Chesley Handler just released an app called Gotta Go that fakes phone calls and text messages when you need a quick excuse to get out of anything. Oh my God. And the app was created during an episode of her Chelsea Netflix docu-series, Chelsea Does. See the racism one, I'm in that one. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but in this one, she goes to Silicon Valley and it features go-to excuses like your car being towed or getting locked out. She even coaches you through the whole thing during the phone call. <laughs> Jeannie, would you use this app? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> because Asians don't waste anything, not even time. You know what I mean? Like, I wasted so much time when I was younger dating mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm just, I don't know, I don't know how to get out of it. You know, if you're in a date and you don't know how to get out of it, but you know five minutes, because we know five minutes in, it's not right. going anywhere. Right. But I couldn't get out of it. You can't go, oh, my dog died, or oh my God, I gotta go unlock somebody out of their car. Like, so yeah. I would need this help. So I would have to last the 45 minutes through your entree, then dessert, then an yeah. after drink, and it's like, you already knew that you were done with this dude <laughs> when it started. Yeah. I would have loved this app. I wish they had an app. But I will say, when you're married, you have that app built in. It's your husband. Have you ever done that? Yeah. Oh. Anytime, if you're out with me and you want to leave, and one of you guys says, codes. sorry, but Tamara wins, any moment yeah. she's like, I've got to go, Araya needs to be fed. That is so I've got, true. I just have to I go. I was going to say, I use my kids. All the time. And we she can't say it. anything. But you know what? You actually caught on. Because I remember <laughs> one time I was like, you know what? Aiden's really tired. And Tamar was like, no, he's not. I see him right now. Tamara, you want to go. Yeah. I mean, because I do the same thing. So. <laughs> Oh girl, I gotta go. Logan's got he got the sniffles. I think his asthma started. I yes. gotta go. <laughs> you know, when you already with somebody, you can always blame the other person or yes. you know your kids. But for single people, this is good. But you know, I'm a single person. I don't need this app. Right. I just use my own mouth. Okay. What you say? What you say? What you say? If you're in the middle, you're just starting dinner and you want to yeah. get out. What do you say? If I'm in the middle of dinner and I don't like him, what do you say? What do you say? I got to go. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Guys, you I ain't gotta do that. You gotta go. You cannot do that. No, I do. I just, you, I would sit through it. What? Yeah, you would sit through it. I've done it. I just sit there and I just feel like, <sighs> I just feel like. <laughs> <laughs> they came all the way here. Exactly. They got dressed the same it way I so did. I agree. And like, I should just at least give them the respect of finishing out the next 45 minutes. 
and then yeah. say, you know, that's 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 that. Because what it is, you don't go to the, you don't get to that point. You know, I don't even get to appetizers if I'm not feeling it. See, this is why y'all need to understand when you go out on dates, it's called courses for a reason, yeah. okay? <laughs> if your first course is the cocktail yeah. course, which is my favorite course, the cocktail course. That's when you, you know, you order your cocktail and you're talking. Yes. Now you know from then if you're going to be with them for, you know, yeah, the but appetizer you and the that? entree. Yeah. You, you want to order something? You be like, nah, I, I got to go. Exactly. Oh, I can't. That's why oh, you I order the I would feel so I bad. Oh, no. God, please. You, know, feel bad. you should feel bad after that whole meal and never call that exactly. man Exactly. And after he that? just spent $100 or yeah. whatever, the cocktail no. only 10 and bucks. I would even offer to split it, to go Dutch. Oh, no. I no. would offer. Okay. No. I would. No. I would if I know that I have no intentions no. of ever calling him again. Me too. No. Me too. Let me, let me pay for no. half of it. I, I ate a good don't dinner. Don't like you owe no. them anything. Exactly, you know, and now let me leave. Life is valuable, Help. and time is very, very precious. Oh, you don't nice. waste your time. <laughs> Okay. On your body. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> it's just. All right, well, since we're talking about excuses, ladies, if you've got a broken heart this Valentine's Day and want an excuse to hire a companion for the night, don't despair. Heartbreak man servants are here to help. That's wow. right, you guys. Who? Check it out. There's a company where you can hire a gorgeous, gorgeous guy to help you through your breakup by bringing you drinks, acting as your bodyguard, even taking a new profile picture with you to show anybody else out there that you've moved on. Is that crazy That's or what? Right. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah, so, Mara, well, I'm glad you feel that way. So, I want to know, you think this is kind of cool? Pray yes. Tell. What do you I, mean? If, if I were single and I, you know, had broken up, this definitely sounds like a good idea. But my question is, is how long can you keep them? Right. <laughs> well, so how long Mara, is, no, how you do this? that like nothing in life would make you feel more like a loser than this and having to pay someone <laughs> to hang out with you. I'm like, like the biggest no. loser. No, because they're, no. They're, if, they're, if they're gorgeous, they're cute, and they're fun, as long as you get to pick them, uh, Tamara, Look. you have to go through the breakup. It's a part of life. No, I, think I it's... know, I know, I know. This, I know, but this, I, I, I'm, just being... trying to, I'm just trying to be cool for a second. Because <laughs> honestly, honestly, in real life, you know me, I'd like to mourn the situation yes. first. You know, just like yeah. really feel it, get through it, learn, learn from what I did right, learn yes. from what I did wrong, learn maybe not to go out with that kind of guy again yeah, or whatever. Yeah, this might help the... you learn not to, you know, you can get no. over the situation True, faster. But, but no, how? If, if eventually, this is going to end, and then you'll have Somebody to deal with it Somebody's taking up your time. You're not thinking about the other person. You're paying you, him. But, okay, that's okay. You pay for your mistakes. So, you know. Oh, my God. So, you talking to him? He's talking to you. No, that's You know, I'm just he's saying. He's taking my money for talking okay, to you. Okay, okay. okay, no, go. Okay. What? I've listened. I've listened. Go, single, satisfied one. This Come. is called, this is why you keep a side dude oh. around, all right? Because if you no, ain't a side dude, you ain't got to pay no dude and to be taking pictures and all. If you somebody are single, wants to do it. if you are single and you are not in a monogamous, that's the right yes, word? Monogamous. 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 <laughs> it's been so long, I don't know. The... You don't even know how to say it. <laughs> Lonnie, you said it correctly. In a monogamous relationship, yep, yes. you are not then you should multi-date. I, I keep agree. telling y'all that. I agree. So that yeah. you don't have to go through this buying dudes and everything. What is this? this? One you don't dude need fails, to dude. You call the other one. OK, I want to ask you, Adrian. Yes. You're single. Yes. So you may have some friends that are kind of interested in you. You may have some yes. guys that you know like you, but you never, you don't, you don't think it wor it'll work out. Yeah. If it didn't work out with your dude and you just wanted some company, would you ever think of calling any of those others just to hang out? Yeah, just to hang Absolutely. Well, for those who don't have it, call the man servant <laughs> guy. No. I mean, it's not guy to me. OK, the other thing yeah. is they're trying to get over somebody. And I genuinely just think that sometimes as women, we're always trying to find the easy way out, like to cut the corners of the heartache. You got to feel it, people. It's a passage of life. Yeah, but you got to get no. through it. Yeah, I think you'll still feel it. Well, but then the being, let the brother bring you a drink. No. <laughs> no, no, because I think, I think what you're saying, Adrian, is ultimately when this manservant leaves, yes. you're still going to have to deal exactly. with that issue. So why not deal with it face on? 
Like, yeah. head on. Okay, but and then actually go and find somebody that wants to serve you a drink. And who truly without... wants to be with you. Because what if you actually fall for the manservant guy? And then oh, he then... has to leave. And then you got to mourn again. Then who you're wants mourning to do two that? guys and you're mourning two guys He was only one. coming for an hour. Girl, you better but believe knows? everything you're saying. Yes, who knows? I... Who knows? You are passionate about yes, this. Yes, I am. I see. Yeah. If the guy is cute, I'll be a heartbreak no, woman or whatever. <laughs> the manservant woman, if he cute, I'll do it because that's the way to make extra money. I do it for free anyway, so I might as well make some money. So call Wait, Lottie would Love. you? <laughs> Wait, I know this is a crazy question, and obviously we have jobs, but <laughs> if, 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 would you ever consider, or when you were younger, would you ever consider when you didn't have a job or that younger sort of thing? Younger age ain't got nothing to do with it. I can show no, you what to do with when that When you didn't friend. have a job, for extra money, would you have ever considered being a woman servant and like going and comforting guys with broken question, hearts? I absolutely would. Because of acts of service no. is one of my favorite things. I would be by your side. No. I would brush your hair. I can't do no acts of service for people with I don't know. Jeannie, what if they fall in love with you? Duh, they are. Okay. Well, here's another way to get over your ex this Valentine's Day. You can go into any Hooters. Now, check this out, Gina. This is for you. Okay. You can go to any Hooters restaurant with a photo of your ex and destroy it for some free chicken wings. Won't he do it? Oh. Yep, yeah, that's right. You just bring in your photo of your ex. You shred it and you get 10 free boneless wings. That's a good deal. I'm here I for that. Like now, Sam, Sam, I know you're a hopeless romantic. I got to ask you because I don't know what Why you want to do. Why is everybody asking me all the questions? Because I want to know. Would, okay. you, would you shred your ex for a basket of wings? Absolutely. <laughs> you want to hear the shredding thing? You would? Yes, yeah, shredding, shredding Let's pictures. Let's emotion. Burning, you know, stuff. It's, it's therapeutic <laughs> for you. Burning you know? things. Burning things. <laughs> I've yeah. done it, and, and it's fulfilling. Yes, I actually have. Um, and, and getting some free chicken wings is very fulfilling. <laughs> so it's therapeutic and fulfilling at the same time. Why well, not? For the shady people <laughs> out there, I just recommend you just find a person, a random person's that picture. That would be me. And okay. just take it and say, yeah. he broke my heart. Shred the photo yeah. and get your wings. So I'll be coming in there every week. He broke my heart. <laughs> he broke my heart. Yeah, broke just my random heart. pictures of different people. <laughs> How do they know for sure? So since today is Valentine's Day, we thought we should give each other Valentine's. Yes, I said Valentine's, not Valentine's. Yes. This was always my favorite part of school growing up, and I still love to give Valentine's party people to my family today. Don't y'all hate when people say Valentine's? Yes. It is not Valentine's. It's a Valentine with an N. All right. So Thank girl, you. we should check if we have any Valentines in our bags. Oh, okay. why didn't you be so happy when you were growing up, like you just said? And if you got a Valentine, that was so nice. Yeah. Yes. I have some. I have something. I do too. Are we going? So do to, I. What are you doing? How okay. Are you what, what you got in yours, eh? Mine is from Jeannie. Hi. Hi, friends. Okay. <laughs> and it says, Adrian. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. <laughs> what? You make my ugly face smile. South side. <laughs> hey. We like to make ugly faces together, and my ugly face makes her smile. I love Got it. it. We have our little inside jokes on this end, and I throw her ugly faces all the time in between commercials because I try to set her off, but hers gets me cracking. She so can't, I she can't, that for you. She can't focus when I do my ugly face. That's how ugly it is. Oh, <laughs> Jeannie. Thank you very much. Okay, mine. Says Jeannie, thank you for your gift of immersing your heart into helping others reach their potential. I appreciate That's your it. heart. Damn, yeah, damn. that's that big word. I don't even know I what know. that means. <laughs> Immersing. Oh, Lord. When you immerse something, you like, oh, put your oh, heart all into it. Oh, oh, hey, don't you give you advice. No. You're the best Valentine ever. Oh, thank that you, was all. Judy. <laughs> all right, here's mine. Hey. Yo, Lonnie, you the bomb. <laughs> it's an honor of mine to have you on my arm. I laugh at your jokes and like to drink. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Lonnie. Oh. Oh. I love you very much. I love oh. you very much, back friend. But I got finish Did my you poetry. finish it? You didn't finish it. You finished it, brother. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, you have to finish no, it. No, you do it. I can't. That is poetry. <sighs> you okay. better read it. Yo, Lonnie, you the bomb. It's an honor of mine to have you on my <laughs> arm. I laugh at your jokes, and you like to drink. 
Would you be my baby mama? What do you think? <laughs> Okay, oh, mine's from Lonnie. It says, Tamara, roses are red, violets are blue. I turn up and so do you. Oh, <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> of course, Thanks, my Lonnie. This little, this little one on the end. Hi. <laughs> Tamar, Tay Tay, it's Valentine's Day. You're my bae. Now go slay. Love A. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's a rhyme game. Oh, yeah. It's February, and you know what that means. We're doing whatever it takes to help our fans out because this is Real to the Rescue! Yes! Uh, so <laughs> earlier this season, during our girl Lonnie's love corner, we met Linnea, a corrections officer who was having trouble approaching men when she wasn't in uniform. Take a look. At work, when I'm in uniform, I have no problem talking to men, but in my private life, I get really shy and very nervous, and I've never been married, and I'd like to find a special someone. What should I do? I would suggest that you need to practice um, with someone. If you have like a family member that you could talk to, because what you need is a wingman. That's what yes. you need. You need a really yes. good wingman. Maybe me and you that can go out, and I'll oh, be your wing woman. That. What about oh. that, huh? some of my best tips. She met some good looking gentlemen and I might have to, I may have even found someone special. You gotta see this, what, look. <laughs> Since we're at the bar, let me give you the rules. Okay. Being your wing woman, I want you to be responsible. Right. So no more than two drinks, okay? okay? okay. Don't overdo it. Okay. Bartender, can I have a double, please? <laughs> do as I say, not okay. as I do. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if you can have a conversation with that young man right there. Hi. That looks tasty. What is that called? I'm not sure. I just told him to make something really tasty and fruity and tangy. Okay. And, uh, Ask him if he comes here often. <laughs> Do you come here often? Not really. Just try to, you know, move around. That's mm -hmm. another secret, too. Yeah. yeah. Just say bye to me. Good night. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel a little bit more relaxed. You know, I've already talked to one guy. When you were talking to him, you were a little timid. Okay. This is, I think, the number one mistake a lot of women make. They feel like, oh, the guy doesn't want my attention. Yeah. But the guy may be shy just like you. This is true. Show me the look that you give a man when you're in your uniform. Oh, okay. That's a look. But can we soften that? Take that same confidence, but put it on the inside. Yes, that's it. You had it, you had it. Yes, out of all these guys in here, take a little around. Show me anybody that catches your eye. You see that old man behind uh -huh. my shoulder? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's mine. That ain't yours. Mm -hmm. Let's look around. How are you ladies doing? Good, how are you? Good. Robert. Pleasure to meet you. You're gorgeous. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. So why don't you sit right here? I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> you don't mind if I have a seat? No, not at all. Perfect. Perfect. I'm so sorry. What was your name? Robert. 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 This is really nice. You like that? Yeah. Right. I like what you did with that. Oh. <laughs> I'm really um, open. You're really open? <laughs> to the rest of the, the night. My night is free. It was a long line in the restaurant. Oh, back then? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Charlie. No, I wouldn't want you to stay in. I hope that I'll see you soon. Of course. All right. I'm going to go back over here and chill out. OK. All right. What are you feeling right now? Girl, I think I'm sweating out my hair. Why? <laughs> I got really hot up in here. He's very handsome and well-spoken, nice guy. And you got his number, right? Um, no. All the time I was... <laughs> but you know what we gotta do? What? You gotta give your number to old boy. Excuse me, fellas. It was nice talking to you. It's I hope pleasure. to talk to you soon. It's pleasure to meet you as well. Thank you. How are you? Oh, it's so good to see you. You look tired and stuff. Oh, well, hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> He's 
with me. I told okay. you. That's okay. Right. Okay. 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 What happened? <laughs> Women. because this is the real. Okay. Uh, Linnea is here with us. Linnea, stand up. Hey, hey Linnea! <laughs> now, Linnea, after we left the bar, we got in separate cars, and um, we gave you a driver because we wanted to make sure that you would be safe and sound going home. But when we got back to work the next morning, I heard that you didn't go straight home. No, no, no. You I had to share some details detour. of what happened? Um, I took a little detour. Robert, the nice guy that um, you that bought us the drinks. Uh-huh. Uh, the second guy, he texted me before the night was over and asked if I wanted to join him for dinner, so I did. Ooh. See? Oh! <laughs> well, well, wow! Goodness. Were there any sparks? A little bit. We've kept in touch, so we'll see what happens. Yeah! Oh! Awesome. It's the week of love here at The Real, and today our audience is filled with a bunch of fabulous singles, plus their single friends. And even though... They weren't a match for one another. There are still plenty of eligible fish in the sea. Throughout the show, they've been mixing and matching over in our real love lounge. Yes. Jeannie, how is it going? Hey, Tam Tam. So we are here with Demetio and Alex, Alexandra, who have been nonstop talking. We can't even get you guys to shut up right now since I can get <laughs> in for a little bit. But before we hear from you guys, I want to hear your friends here. Tell me a little bit about you guys. So Jasmine, you've been friends with Demetio for a long time? Yes. Yes? Okay, sell it to us. Why, why is your boy such a cool guy? He's a cool guy because he's very artistic, he's outgoing, he's fun, he has a cool personality. He's made her laugh the entire time. Like, they've just been giggling the entire time, so much so that we're planning their marriage right now. <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay, and I'm just asking because you guys are both really cute. You guys have never... No, we've been friends. We've just been friends all this time. So okay, just making sure. <laughs> Good to know. Down. Okay, that's right, and I'm over here with... David, who's actually Alex's friend, I'm about to get the real dirt. So, get it. how long have you known her? For a couple years now, going on three. Going on three, all right. Now, why do you think she's such a catch? I mean, I could have my own reasons, but why do you think? Well, there's, you know, countless reasons. But to start, kind of like what she was saying, you know, total sense of humor. She can just like run with any kind of joke and like identify with other people. She's a beauty, you know, you got that going for you. And, you know, just a very high level of intellect. I would say, you know, just, very uh, well read and you know, well spoken. looks like he agrees. He's not in his head. All right, all right. So this seems like the perfect match so yeah. far. Let's hear from you guys. Okay. Okay. Um, no, the conversation was good because uh, you know we targeted the things that we had in common, um, and even our differences uh, made the conversation a lot more you know in depth. And I think that she is she, she's great. You know, she's okay. outgoing. And her personality is very strong, so. Okay, girl, how's the conversation going? I think it's going pretty well. Yes. Uh, yeah, we both work in the same field. I'm a fashion stylist, he's a barber. We could be business partners and life partners. Oh. Well, look at that! <laughs> now, we know you've only known each other for a little while, so we're gonna give you a chance to let, you know, the spark catch fire. Best woman, so you best can... man. Hey. All right, they're already planning the wedding. Well, on that note, yes. we'll check on the both of you guys later in the show. And hey, maybe this really could be a love connection. You never know. Where are all my singles at? Let me hear you sing. Yes, right here. All right, let me get right real here. though. You know, we gotta get real, Adrian, because when it's Valentine's Day, it seems like that's the one day that, you know, you feel bad as a single uh, and people right? try to make you feel bad. But you know right. what? You're gonna join me as a satisfied single and celebrate the love you already have and the love you can give on this Valentine's Day. This is called Survival of the Singles, hey! That's right! Today we're gonna share with you some ideas on how to celebrate Valentine's Day when you're single and what? Satisfied! Satisfied. So I'm here with another single from our audience. Hey girl, what's your name? Charnay, I'm from Tampa, Florida! Woo! Tamar, yes, you're I, first. Tell us, what do we have? I got some liquor. No, I'm joking. Here's the thing. <laughs> now, we've all heard about throwing a Galentine's party with our single girls, right? Now, you know, you watch a romantic comedy and eat a whole bunch of chocolate. I'm here for that. But why stay home? You a single girl? Right, right. You're not a shut-in, are no. you? I know. <laughs> I say do everything a couple would do with your best friends, both guys and girls. Go out to dinner, buy each other flowers, and hit the bar. Won't he do it? Yes. yes. <laughs> right, who knows? <laughs> it's probably full of single 
some people anyway, and you might just meet you somebody. Mm -hmm. But don't make that your goal. Just go out and have a good time. I Cheers. That. Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> Yeah. I will drink to yeah. that. Yes. I'm you just gonna leave me hanging? Yes. Okay. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. <laughs> Stay with you me. You really drink it. That's the spirit, Tamar. <laughs> All right, Jeannie, you're up. Let's head on over here. All right, Abe. Hey. <laughs> Darnay, come and take a seat right here. So, remember when you were little and you would write those adorable Valentines, yeah. that special someone in yeah. school? Okay, <laughs> just because you're single doesn't mean that you can't have a Valentine. So, we all have people in our lives who love, why not send them a note to remind them, right? So, Charnay, you write your note, and I'm gonna read my Valentine to you guys from us. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue, thank you for watching, and we love you too. Jeannie Tamara. That's so sweet, Jeannie. Thank you. You're welcome. And very thoughtful. I am. That is so you. Now, Tamara? Yes. What is your advice? You always say you were single for a really long time. So what's yes, your I advice was. for the singles that are <laughs> celebrating Valentine's Day? All right. Valentine's Day is all about showing love. Mm -hmm. So why not take some time to show love to others who really need it? That's why I say spend the day volunteering. Pass out food to the homeless, help out an animal shelter, or spend time at a retirement center. Wow. Doing something nice for the less fortunate or lonely is a meaningful way to warm everyone's heart on February 14th. That is so great. There, right? That is amazing and so yeah. true. Now you guys know us pretty well by now, but you can tell us when one of us is keeping it 100 with you, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, you all to know us. Yes, we're about to stand in our truth when we tackle a few matters of the heart. It's time for Lies You Tell, Love Edition. Hey. One of you in our audience will have 30 seconds to figure out which host is telling you the truth and who is telling you a lie by attaching one of these cards to the board, okay? And because we're celebrating Valentine's Day, each statement the host will give will be related to love, all right? Yes. And when you think you have your guesses in the right place, you'll run back there and hit the buzzer to stop the clock. Yes, uh, you'll get $100 each time you guess correctly and a bonus $100 if you guess them all right. So guess what that means, party people? You can go home with one, two, three, four, $500 and that's no more. Now how does that sound? $500? February, we are celebrating you, our fans, because we love y'all so much. So today, we are showing some L-O-V-E to a viewer at home, too. That's right. Say hello to Brittany Hollis, who watches us on KMBC TV in Kansas City, Missouri. Hey, Brittany. All right, girl, do you think that you could smell a lie a mile away? Absolutely. We just need a player from our studio audience. Mm -hmm. Jasmine Middleborn. California. All right, All now. Right. All right, Jasmine, today you're playing for two, so Brittany at home wins whatever you win. Oh, God. Pressure. Okay. No pressure. It's not just for you, it's for the both of you. I got you, Brittany, so, I got you. Is your love lie detector on point today? Pretty good, pretty yeah? good. Ooh, yeah. Pretty good. You I've been married for 11 years, so yeah, it's good, it's good. Okay, okay. Brittany. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. You only Brittany, have you're in luck. <laughs> Brittany, you only have 30 seconds, and okay. you must hit the buzzer to stop the clock once you're done. All right, you ready to play? I'm ready. Lies you tell. Okay, I'm ready to play. Tell. All right, ladies, let's hear your love statements. Okay. I almost quit acting to move to Arizona for my first love. Woo! Well, not yet, hold your, hold your mule. I got married in Las Vegas. <laughs> the only time I wear a thong is on Valentine's Day. I once had two dates on Valentine's Day. 
Ooh, all right, well, we heard all of our hosts and what they had to say about themselves. So now, Jasmine, it's up to you to determine who's telling the truth and who is telling a bold-faced lie. Okay. Put 30 seconds on the clock. Ooh. Jasmine is ready, y'all, okay? Audience and Brittany, help her out. Don't hesitate. Screaming out whatever y'all think it is. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. Set, go! <laughs> Jasmine, do you feel confident from, from your choices? I feel pretty confident. You um, sure? Because if you do, you can walk away right now, or you can use the remaining time to make some changes with some of these statements. How much time do I have? <laughs> you have nine seconds. Oh, nine! I was like, yes. oh, okay. you have nine seconds, honey. Okay, no, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it. You keep it, you keep it. I'm confident, I'm confident. I got this, I got it. Okay. All right, your time is up. You done made your decision, girl. I made it. Let's see who fed Jasmine lies and who told her the truth. Tamara, you're up first. Mm -hmm. You told us you almost quit acting to move to Arizona for your first love. Now, Tam, <laughs> was that the truth or was that a lie? Truth, man. <laughs> Oh my God. She what the heck were you thinking? Medicine. Yeah, but you don't quit your job. <laughs> All right. Oh my Lonnie, God. <laughs> you told us that you got hitched in Vegas. Now, Lonnie, was that the truth or was that a lie? First six months of my life. Yeah. I knew All that. All right. Jeannie. Okay. Now, you done told us that the only time you gonna wear a thong is on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Oh my I God, not. I don't even want to picture this. Did you tell us the truth or is it a lie? Only for my boo because I hate the way they feel. Oh, Jasmine. All right, you got one more chance. So, A, now you said you had two dates <laughs> on Valentine's Day one You're day. You're spicy, I thought you did. I thought now, you girlfriend, did. are you telling the truth or is your poker face too good to be true? It's too good to be true. What oh, kind of woman do you think I am? <laughs> what? Oh, what is going on? 